The acceptable performance and condition within a room floor shall appear level when viewed from a normal viewing position. Where a floor framed with dimensional lumber appears sloped, a maximum tolerance ratio of 25 millimeters and 3600 millimeters applies when measured between the opposite walls or defined limits in the room or area. Okay, this article describes a visually defined space. In this case, we have two visually defined spaces, the living room and the dining room, and it is defined by the change in the ceiling up here. So if we had a slope running from the back of the house to the front of the house, we would measure from this defined line to the front of the house, or vice versa, from that defined line to the back of the house. In this case, we're going to measure from side to side just for simplicity. So we'll take some measurements and we'll explain how we get that 25 millimeters and 3600 ratio. The warranty it falls under is the one year work and materials warranty. Minor slope variance caused by normal shrinkage of materials due to drying after construction is excluded from the statutory warranty. The action, the floors in the room sloped greater than the acceptable performance shall be repaired. Some general remarks about the floor above grade is at a level. This item refers to the entire floor surface in rooms. Floors are framed taking into account minor slope variations caused by required camber in the long span joists supporting the floors. This condition is normal. In open concept rooms or areas, it is not always possible to measure in an opposite wall in the room or space. In this instance, the measurement should be taken to the edge of the visually defined space. For uneven areas and floors, see section 12.2, finished floor is uneven. For this measurement, we need to use a laser level. We set it up on one side of the room and shine the, the laser across the room so that we have a light on the opposite wall. We take a measurement at the laser level, and in this case, it's 51 millimeters off the floor. We go to the other side of the room, and we measure, and in this case, we have 48 millimeters, which means this side of the room is three millimeters higher than that side. Then we have to take a measurement from the laser level to the opposite wall to get that ratio. And in this case, it's 3,000 millimeters, so this is three millimeters out of level over 3,000 millimeters. You can do the math to convert that to the 3,600 millimeter distance, but in this case, we know that three millimeters and 3,000 is well within tolerance and it's, it's not a warranted defect. The article also states that you should, it should be a visible slope. I recommend measuring even if you can't see it. It always looks better to have a measurement rather than just saying nothing visible. Uh, the homeowner's not gonna be happy if you just say, well, I can't see it, so take a measurement no matter what. Get those X, Y axes as well so that you know exactly where you were shown and where you measured. Any questions on the floor out of level? I've got one. Uh, with an issue of this nature, how can you tell whether it's being caused by the subfloor or by the hardwood flooring on top? Well, with hardwood flooring, it's generally fastened directly to the sheathing, which is directly to this framing. If the hardwood floor is out of level, generally the framing underneath is out of level. If you have something like ceramic tile, which has a bit, that bit of thin set, you may have to do some extra measurements from underneath to see if the framing itself is out of level. So you have to, each situation individually, you may have to measure a little differently, maybe dig a little deeper to get your answers. Mm -hmm.